Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the makeup that I'm going to be bringing with me for school. Now you don't have to bring any makeup, I just like to touch up during the day or maybe I haven't or I didn't have time to do my makeup fully when I was at home. So these were the products that I would bring to either do my makeup or kind of touch up. Um, so starting with my face. I would bring a concealer. This is by CoverGirl and it's nice because it has just a little doe foot applicator so you can put it on your skin real quickly and then just blend it out and it doesn't take much time and it's nice and brightening and it'll hide any dark circles or if any um, like acne spots um, show up like during the day you can cover that up. And then also, I would have to bring a powder. This is a CoverGirl Clean pa Press Powder in Classic Ivory. And I just get the lightest one because it blends out into the skin. Um, so this is what it looks like. I hit pan on this. And it's really nice. And it's not cakey at all. And it provides a lot of... Not coverage, but it works really well. So I like this, and I bring a, a couple brushes, depending. Um, the first one is just this mini Avon one, and the reason why I don't like this is because the bristles are out, and there's no way of protecting them, but this is a good brush to apply powder with. Um, the one that I most likely will be taking with me is my Eco Tools Retractable Kabuki. So this is what it looks like. I highly recommend this brush. I love it so much. It works for everything and it's super duper soft. And it's also really convenient because you can bring it anywhere with you because it's all compact into this little cylinder thing. Um, and then my last type of face product would have to be a cream blush because you don't need to use a brush with these. Now you could use like this and a powder brush, but um, I just like stick blushes. They're so easy to apply. So this is my NYX cream or stick blush in pink poppy. And it's just a nice light pink color. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just super easy to apply and then you blend it out and it's really simple and it looks really good. And I think blush just livens up your face. If you were to only pick out one thing to wear, I think it would have to be blush. Um, I know a lot of people would say mascara. Uh, mascara is not my favorite, but blush makes a huge difference all over your face. And then another one that I would choose between is my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush. I think they discontinued these. I'm not quite sure, but this is what it looks like. It's a creamy, like, mousse. I get, like, there's no other way to describe it. It's really soft and really nice, and I really like it, but this one has too much shimmer in it for me. But it's just a nice kind of color and I could even use this one as a highlight color in summer so that'd be really nice for the starting of school okay so now on to my eyes I probably have the most for my eyes but the first thing is a nice and simple cream eyeshadow this is my color tattoo eyeshadow and bad to the bronze and it's just nice and simple again you can apply this with your fingers and it gives you a big dramatic difference so, again, if you were, like, running late and didn't put on any makeup, you could easily apply this and look like you did your makeup at home and um, that you spent a lot of time on it. What I like to do is put the deepest color on the outer corner and work it in so that it looks like it's multiple shadows. So that's the first thing. And then I would bring an eyeshadow palette. This is a mini one from e.l.f. And it is in the natural eye. And this came with a little brush. I would just keep that in here and just apply or use that to apply my shadows. Um, this has some really nice, like, bronzy, gold.
gold shadows and then it also has a matte shadow if you want to put that in your crease so this I think is just an all over or all around good um, eyeshadow palette and then because that one doesn't have that good of a lightning highlight shadow I would bring my CoverGirl eyeshadow in champagne I love this this is probably my favorite eyeshadow it's just so brightening you could put this all over the lid as well um so I really like this also instead of the elf I heard that CoverGirl shimmering sands is an amazing trio so you could try that out too okay and then I would bring a black mascara to touch up with this is just an elf one um, and I really like this. It's actually quite pigmented for only a dollar. I don't know if you can see that. That was so light of a touch. Um, so I really like this. Then for eye lashes, I would first bring an eyelash curler. Um, this is just an elf one. It was only a dollar. It works really well and it's nice and convenient. It opens up your eyes really nicely. So... I would definitely choose this and then if you're a mascara type I would choose your favorite mascara this is just Maybelline's one by one and it looks like that um, I mean I don't really like wearing mascara especially to school but if you do it's a good thing to bring back up and then for the lips I would just bring a lip balm or whatever lip product that you're wearing that day so if you're wearing like a lip gloss or something I would bring that with you and probably put it in my pencil case just because I like to refresh my lips every couple of minutes not every couple of minutes but more often than I go to my locker um, so yeah, that's all the makeup that I will be bringing with me to high school. Now, of course, you can change out the, um, colors and everything and products that you use. So leave a video response down below of what products you will bring with you to your locker, whether you're in middle school or high school or in the comments what you bring or if you aren't going to bring any makeup, like, what do you plan on doing for that? So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys later.